trying to sleep without you I don't wanna go Lord knows I just can't be alone, no What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Brer here today and I just wanted to come to you guys to give you guys a little video about some things that's just been on my mind, things that I've been seeing and I wanted to do this video on yesterday to have it posted for today but I'm gonna do it today and try to post it today. Um, Brandon is currently at work so first I just want to start out by saying I'm not a perfect person. Nobody is. If you read the title, you already know what I'm getting to. So, my thing is, I feel that as human beings, sometimes we say things, sometimes we think things, but it's important that we control our thoughts. Uh, I remember when I used to work at Walmart, um, I had a coworker, and I'm just gonna say this, I made a mistake by saying that. Uh, he cute, we were looking at some pictures, and I was like, he cute for a black boy. And she said, uh, this, we just said that he cute for a black boy. Like that. And um I thought about it, I say, you ain't lying. I know I did just fix my mouth to say that. And I was tripped out that I actually fixed my mouth to say that somebody was cute for a black person. You know, um, and then I know a lot of you are like looking like um because I date Brandon and he's light skin and all of that. But the thing is when I thought about what I said, you know, after the fact, I said, I didn't even think this through. You know, I just came out with it. Like, it's something that set for me. But, I don't have a pick in me. Just, I don't date Brandon because he's red. I don't date Brandon because he's cute or however y'all want to put it. And some people even fix their mouths and say that, y'all should, uh, y'all, y'all ain't have a cute baby. Like, they know how our baby gonna come out. But, I was gonna say this, uh, I don't date him because he's red. I ain't cute. I date him because of the way he treats me. You know what I'm saying? I would've never went public with him if I didn't get uh, okay on his personality and how he treats me. And let's get um, down on topic in regards to this color situation. I think all women, all men are beautiful and handsome. It depends on your ways and how you treat a person. If you are just rude and, you know, mean and nasty and ugly to people, nobody's going to like you. And, and and some people, you know, a lot of times we judge people by their physical appearance. And I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I'm not perfect, but I do that too. But when I finally get to, you know, see a person, you will find out that, you know, when you, when you start getting to know a person, you'll find out that people, some people... Some people could be so genuine and so nice and compassionate and everything, nice personality. Like Brandon, the way Brandon grooms himself and do all that, you guys would think that he's some kind of uppity person and all this and all that. But Brandon is different, you know. He ain't no type of red person that just be focused. I mean, it's not bad for a man to groom himself, but he's not the type to be like, you know, stand in the mirror and all that all the time. And he will get dirty. He, he ain't that type. You know, he just different. But in regards to this color situation, I feel like everybody's beautiful. Everybody's handsome. Whatever, whatever, however you want to put it. I don't have a pick and choose choice and whatever in a man. Uh, I don't care about the color. I don't care. What I do care about is the way you take care of yourself and the way you treat people. That's what matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about the color. And... I don't know why men and women too bash black women. It feels like, you know what I'm saying? I guess it's because, one, sometimes we bash ourselves. Two, uh, I don't know. It's like you guys have put it to where if you, it's like if you red or light skin, or whatever color, color, caramel, whatever, it's like you got a plus already despite the fact that your features might not even be all that i'm just keeping it 100 you got a plus because you got this color skin and this color skin i just thought about this because i look at it and i see people you know they they do that and you know i just feel like that's wrong you know we shouldn't be sitting up bashing 
each other. We shouldn't be seen. And then, you know, another thing, this hair situation. Uh, a lot of people sit up and got to clarify if they got long hair. All of that shouldn't even be important. I'm just going to be honest. I feel that bad, bashing black women is bad. We beautiful, period. And, and I'm not going to judge a person. You know, you have your type. Some people actually have their types. You know, some people like a certain color. Some people like a certain body type. Some, that's you. That's a personal thing, but don't bash a black woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, black women are beautiful, despite what you think. Black women beautiful, white women beautiful, Indian, Chinese, Asian. Uh, all women are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? The Lord created you perfectly, whether you like it or not. So you need to start. I think that people need to start looking in the mirror and just start saying, I'm beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if you don't believe you're beautiful and if you don't love yourself in the inside, that, that's going to encourage people to talk about your bed. That's going to encourage people to talk down on you. You know, you shouldn't need clarification from people to clarify if you're beautiful or not. And you guys should just stop bashing people, you know, and everybody don't do it. And like I said, I'm not perfect. Like I said, I made a mistake and said some things. You know, but I've never said that I like a certain color man or a certain type of man. I've never done that. I would just say that I, I well, a certain type, I might have said that because, I don't, like I said, I don't like nobody rude in me. But I've never said, I've said, oh, I like this color. He got to be this color. I don't do that. You know, I feel like you guys should just stop bashing black women. Stop bashing black men. Stop bashing all races. You know what I'm saying? And let's just stop this racial thing. Um... Uh, because we already got a hard as it is in this world today. And, and for people to be bashing each other and bashing women, it just it just makes everything worse. But a black woman is beautiful. And you guys shouldn't have to keep on reminding the world that you're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like on Instagram, I follow a lot of pages and it's like, when they say my melanin is popping, they always gotta put some in it to say that uh what do you say like uh like throwing off shade. And and I feel like you shouldn't have to do that. I feel like people shouldn't have to keep people shouldn't bash, but people gonna do what they're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Uh people gonna have their opinion about things, people gonna feel how they feel and however it is, but when we sitting up bashing each other, you know, uh, and talking about color, and, and like people, I really look at people, and people really sit up and say that people are ugly because of their color. Because you black, because you brown, that don't make you ugly. Like, you wouldn't even take the time out to look at a person and, and say like, um, you, you, you look, you know, you look nice. Or, or something like that, but I, I I know it's like people just you just automatically get if you if you like don't groom yourself like the rest if you ain't as fortunate as other people around you or at least they may think that because you may not carry yourself that way they gonna automatically put you in a certain category to say that uh oh she ugly and she and all that you know they try to join you and everything I just feel like that's petty that's childish you immature and you need to grow up. And what's your reason for joining somebody and judging somebody and calling them ugly because they don't look this way? You know what I'm saying? Like, all through school, I'm just going to be honest. My hair stayed in there because I didn't care. My clothes, I didn't wear them as fitted all the time like other people did. And I didn't dress myself as other people did. And then as I got on up in high school, things got a little bit rough for me and my mama. But I still had a place to stay. Even though I did get to a point where we went through something and, uh, you know, we still had family. My mom still been, my mom been working at her job for years. Most of, most of my life, all my life. But, not all my life, but, you know, most of my life I would say that. But let me just say this, uh, just because I wasn't doing all that, that didn't mean that I didn't have money. That didn't mean that I, I... I was ugly, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to do it. I just didn't care. I was focused on school so much. I didn't really take time out to just 
you know, be in the mirror room with myself and all that. And when I think back to the, those days, I actually kind of miss those days because I didn't care about stuff that I care about now. You know, I focus a lot now on my features. And if I don't like, I'm always quick to say I don't like this part of my body, I don't like this color, this dark and all that. You know, and judging myself, but never sit up and say, you beautiful, or appreciate your body and all that. Because I didn't care about that in school. But now it's like the older you get, the more you pay attention, the more you mature, the more your hormones and everything, you know. But I think I mostly started paying attention to that when I got with Brandy because I wanted to, when I got with someone, I wanted to, I wanted them to, you know, love me for me. Um, and love me, you know, don't run around like you don't care about yourself, you know, you know what I'm saying, like. I did, it wasn't necessarily that, but a lot of times I would come, mama, I, would, I would go to school a certain way and I would come home and just looking drained. And my mama used to tell me, uh, one time she said, you want to start taking care, better care of yourself. And, um, but she ain't never had to tell me again after that. And she ain't never had to, uh, say anything about me following up behind people after she told me one time, stop running behind people. You know what I'm saying? I always mind. I always did. Yeah, I just feel that people should stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's You may feel like it's not a big deal to you. You may have your own type. Who you want, however that may go. But when you sitting around and you talking about women because they not this color and they not that color, I feel like that's wrong. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the world do as well. And you don't have to just, just because you like what you like, you don't have to bash somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Black women shouldn't have to keep getting on the internet and standing up for another black woman or standing up for herself because she knows that most people don't like her because of her color and, and because of her hair. Uh, y'all got to stop. This world has been ruined. And, and y'all make it hard for black women too. Y'all make it hard for them. Y'all, um, they stay judging the way they look because black women may like y'all. And they may like the way y'all look. Black young ladies, black women out there, they may like that person. But when that person is clearly sitting up telling them they ugly or they don't like them or they study putting it out there in the world, that person starts hating that person, you know, and don't like that person. And it doesn't have to be like that. You know, so we just need to all need to learn how to appreciate ourselves. And I wouldn't say go back to the way things used to be because it's been going on for a while. I would say that make things better. Uh, make the world easier. Everybody should get along. Uh, and to my black women and black young ladies and everybody, to all, everybody, to everybody. I'm not going to signify signal signify that it might be in the title but i'm not going to just signify that as one if someone's bashing you you know what i'm saying about your color about your size about your race about how you carry yourself and all of that don't worry about them pray for them pray for yourself if you're battling against that pray for yourself and pray for them and i promise you the lord is going to work it out you know you know he's going to work it out he you because it, it's only gonna bother you if you feel some type of way about yourself or, or if you look at yourself and you go to agreeing with them so you gotta pray for those things you gotta have a conversation with the Lord about those things and you just gotta ask for them to help you with that and stuff and to the people that's doing the bashing you need to pray as well you know you need to pray for yourself and pray for those people that you bashing because not only will it help you to love those people, but it will help you to appreciate the fact that it's not polite to be so rude and mean and feel some type of way because of a certain color person. Because, man, they got some beautiful people in this world. It got beautiful people in this world, period. And, you know, so I even say some of you are beautiful even when you're so rude and mean because I know you can fix that. But... That concludes this video. You know, I don't know where I'm at right now. I don't know where the time at. I wasn't trying to be so long. Uh, and I just wanted to do a video. Put in the comments some more stuff that you guys want to see. And me and Brandon probably going to be posting more. Uh, I pro we probably get like a, a 
view a video out of a week, depending on how we feel. On days like we don't have nothing to do, we may do we may do more than one video. But we're busy right now, you guys. 2019 is gonna be a busy year for us, for us to set ourselves up for the better. So we're just trying to grind. We're trying to, you know, me. I'm trying to finish school so I can focus more so on myself. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I've been dealing with school all my life. 22. 22 years of school. <laughs> 21 years of school because uh, the whole 12 months, you know, my mom had me. I had this all that. Well, 20 some years. I don't know. It's just been a bit. It's been most of my life. And so, but I appreciate it. It's a blessing, you know. It's a blessing to be able to focus strictly on school. Other stuff just be as on, you know hustles and stuff so it's a blessing to be here and be able to have support from people your people but anyway like comment subscribe turn on the post notifications we hit 1k but y'all know what we're going for next we're going for 5k 10k we'll take all that all that let's go to 10k how about that get us a 10k view this video get them likes up comment subscribe show some love follow our social media accounts uh mine's is braille 22 brains dense is highlight king underscore b right now he said he's gonna change it so we'll keep y'all updated on that uh the business is luxury everything two underscores underscore underscore and let me know if you guys want me to start my own channel you know what i'm saying uh right now we're just working on building this channel up because we've been doing this channel for over two years and we just said 1k and that gets on your nerves and bothers you when you look at people that be just starting off and they already 80k 100k you know that bothers you <laughs> but don't worry about it you just gotta focus on you and get your channel up so thank you guys bye